dependable Ford, seen in every type of industry, used wherever reliability is demanded. Products must be distributed, distribution must be sure. Take the famous firm of Walls. They mix, cool, freeze and produce thousands of tons of ice cream every year. And they use Fords exclusively to distribute it. From the freezing machines, the ice cream is extruded, cut into blocks and wrapped automatically. Each machine does one per second, and during the summer month there's an almost continuous flow to satisfy our cooling needs. Another plant coats bars with chocolate. The ice cream quickly cools and solidifies the hot chocolate, and everything of course goes into cold storage after production to await dispatch. Here are the familiar tubs. Distribution to divisions and depots is efficiently organized, and seven articulated eight-cylinder Fordsons, colloquially known as ghosts, are used for divisional work. Unloaded into cold storage, the ice cream is kept for supplying the 150 depots throughout the country. All this roadwork is carried out with Fordson vans of every type, from 1,500 weight to three-ton, eight-cylinder models. Walls use 450 vehicles, and they have always relied upon Fords. For this great fleet, their maintenance staff for the whole country numbers less than 40. What a tribute to Ford reliability. All types and all Fordsons, a good mixture. And that applies to this dough, which is being mixed at the St Cuthbert's Cooperative Bakery in Edinburgh. The processes in these brief shots of bread making are so obvious they need no explanation. After all, flour is flour, dough is dough and bread is bread. And it really is bread when St Cuthbert's bakes it, which also shows that yeast is yeast and best is best. Each oven has a capacity of 480 two-pound loaves, which travel along inside, being baked as they go. Eighty thousand members are served by the association, and the bakery uses 100 Fordsons from 500 weight to two tons for its distribution. This line of 1,500 weight vans with special bodies delivers to the city and suburbs of Edinburgh. St Cuthbert's have been using Fordson since 1912 and with 25 years experience are still insisting on them. Coming south again to the biscuit works of Meredith and Drew who turn out biscuits by the million and with the same precision as their Fords distribute them. They started using motor vehicles in 1920 with four T models. Today they have 112 Fordson Making tasty biscuits and special cartons to hold them wouldn't be much use if they couldn't be distributed quickly. Meredith and Drew consider that the eight-cylinder vehicle is one of the main factors of biscuit distribution because it is able to cover the ground much more rapidly, especially in hilly districts. By the way, these machines are putting the wrappers on and sealing the cartons. Swift work, isn't it? That, of course, applies to the distribution as well. The mileage of the Fordsons during the first half of 1937 was nearly one million. One like this completed 28,000 miles without any repairs, except a distributor change. The three-ton Fordsons average 800 miles a week and a petrol consumption of 13 miles per gallon, and that's food for thought. And we're still on food, this time bacon. The Danish Bacon Company operate a fleet of 50 Fordsons, which in London alone deliver 5,000 miles weekly. Their boast is that their service is second to none. The company also run a number of eight-cylinder, three-ton Fordsons with a special hygienic body. We've gone north again. The Fordson tractor is hauling a line of railway wagons full of timber for CB North. After unloading the ships, Norths go completely Fordson and carry about 30,000 tons a year. 
Because of the interchangeability of parts and the engine exchange plan, running costs are considerably reduced. And as they do 400,000 miles a year, that means something. While we're on statistics, did you know that 20 million tonnes of coal is treated by gas companies every year? Coal is charged to retorts, which bake it for 10 hours at 1400 degrees centigrade and extract the gas, leaving a residue of coke, which is forced out and dropped onto a steel conveyor for cooling. The South Suburban Gas Company services about 200,000 families in southeast London, and to handle its business efficiently, runs a fleet of 63 Fordsons, from trucks to eight-cylinder two-tonners. These have special bodies to meet the requirements for handling modern gas appliances. The company's representatives are equipped with Ford 10 and 8 cars. Altogether there are 108 Ford vehicles whose annual mileage is well over a million. Another domestic appliance user of Fordson's is the British Vacuum Cleaner Engineering Company. This year, they ordered 100 500 weight Fordsons for delivering and servicing their products. Considering the excellence of their organization, it isn't surprising that goblins have chosen Fordsons. One of the best known departmental stores in central London is Gamages. Every day, they deliver from their warehouse over a large area with their fleet of Fordsons. As the modern store business has to cater for an endless variety of goods, Fordsons meet their requirements from 1,500 weight to six tonner. Reliable service, that's what the Metropolitan Transport Supply Company offer, and they use 162 Fordsons from 500 weight to three tons. This company covers the country with its service, and during last year completed over two and a quarter million miles. From the road to field work, James and George Matthews are merchants and millers. Their Fordson trucks are used a great deal on farm work, which is far different to main road travelling. From 30 hundredweight to 60 hundredweight Fordsons are in their fleet, and one of the three tonners cover 28,000 miles at an average of 11 and a half miles per gallon. That's reliability and economy. One of the best, or should it be worst, tests for vehicles is on sand and gravel transport. Under conditions like these, trucks have to work continuously with full loads. Messrs Peters and Barham, sand and ballast merchants of Essex, run over 40 two and three ton Fordsons because they have found that they stand up best to the grueling work. Loading in the quarry, running sometimes axle high in water, invariably on bad surfaces and then onto the open road, the Fordson fleet carry 200,000 tons of gravel and sand per year, each truck averaging 48 to 60,000 miles. One eight cylinder Fordson ran 72,000 miles before exchange under the Ford engine exchange plan. What wonderful performances, what wonderful vehicles. There's a Fordson to suit every need. Whether you want a standard truck or van, or a special body, the Fordson can meet your requirements. And remember, they can be obtained with either four or eight cylinder engines.